Intellectual Property Trading Portal has been launched through Coin Online. Wayne van der Fent from Coin uh, is, joins us now from uh, Cape Town. Good morning to you, Wayne. I suppose it's inevitable oh, that we have a portal like this. My impression was that uh, trading had already started happening on the internet, as trade in everything else does, uh, as with property. Uh, but the, you, you describe it as the first commercial online portal. Is that right? In what sense is it the first? The first in South Africa, David, and certainly the first within the commercial space. There has been trading that has happened on an auction basis, but this one is slightly different in that it's a trading portal which deals with multiple offers, allowing the seller to participate a little bit more actively than he would in a, in a online auction methodology. Now, what seems so that to... Makes it, that makes the difference. Yeah. The, the trend that one sees is rather like in the book trading arena where uh, Amazon.com in the mid-90s came on and uh, you could buy books uh, directly through the Internet and people said, well, that mean the end of bookshops. Does this mean the end of estate agents uh, if you can actually trade online? No, I don't believe so. I think what it will allow is, is a more efficient trading um, to happen, but it's certainly not going to do away with the face-to-face -face element, the relationships that brokers have. What it will do is it will open the space um, to allow for more efficiencies and certainly to allow for people to trade effectively from anywhere in the country for, for parts of, of property. Now, bearing in mind that South Africa is, is quite a large country and that investors may be sitting in Mafeking with an interest in a property in Cape Town, it allows for those efficiencies to happen online. Um, it allows for, for marketing to happen in, in an easier and more efficient manner, but certainly won't be doing away with the broking industry as we understand it. Is it one of those sectors where the regulators still have to catch up with you, a little bit like cell phones? You know, the technology is already in use before people have thought of how to regulate it. Uh, what did you have to do to uh, start this business? Did you just go online and say we're open for business? Are there regulatory issues mm. and legal issues you have to deal with? No, there are obviously regulatory issues. The estate agency's board is, is one of the regulatory boards that one needed to comply with. And then there's online laws and there's also law within the property space. And, and that is why it took us almost two years before we launched because it, it needed to marry together the regulatory requirements and also the requirements um, for both online trading laws and, and property law. And, and we needed to comply with all of that in order for these transactions to be legal and tradable. Looking at uh, some of the things that happen in the real life, everyday property market, if you like, uh, one thinks of residential property uh, where you have offers to purchase, binding offers and things like that, papers are signed. There's a lot of detail in property transactions because for many people it's the biggest single transaction of their lives and in business sense as well. So how do you, uh, do you make it simpler? Is it, is it easier to do business uh, online or is it simply the saving of travelling, for example? Well, it is, it, is, it, is a, it is a mixture of both. On the one hand, it is obviously easier on a traveling element, but this, the real efficiencies come around the ability to, for the seller to deal with multiple offers at the same time. It also allows for the purchaser to make counter offers um, fairly easily. In the normal course of business, um, one would find that a a buyer would make an offer, he would then have to wait to year whether his offer was accepted or whether he needs to counter it with a higher price or, or different conditions and that used to take, and that takes a fair amount of time. In our methodology it allows for offers and counter offers to, to happen almost instantaneously. It also allows for the seller to deal with multiple offers at, at the same time. And importantly, uh, in the commercial space, it places the information in a space that allows buyers to access it online. So instead of a buyer needing to travel out um, to view all the documents, he's able to, to access it online and do his necessary due diligences to allow him to make a, a reasonable offer. Part of the problem in South Africa has been that quite often offers have failed at the due diligence stage where 
where buyers have not uh, been able to match the offer they've made because they've, the information that they've been supplied has been sketchy. In this methodology, the seller is able to place all his information at the disposal of the buyer, allowing for an informed offer to be made. Well, thanks to Wayne van der Fent, who is Director of Coin Online, talking to us from Cape Town.